Hey folks, Grego here. Yeah, that's right, Grego, the Grego channel. I haven't uploaded on this channel for a while, but you know what? I don't have to. But today I thought I would, you know, I just went down the beach for a nice swim in the surf. I tell you what, the surf was absolutely dumping. And, well, I wasn't sure if I was going to um, come out alive. I got smashed by so many waves and, well, it was low tide anyway. I, I, I got smashed in the ribs and I'm sort of half expecting that, um, well, tonight I probably won't sleep that well because, well, I got hit in the ribs and last time, a couple of weeks ago, I got hit in the ribs and, oh, I couldn't breathe properly for about three nights at least, you know, when you take those deep breaths, you know, it was pretty painful anyway. But uh, you know what would really help with that sort of pain? Some self-medicating. So we all know about self-medication, don't we? At our age we do, come on, come on. And most of the time I would uh, take maybe a, an aspirin or something, but you know what? I found a carton of these at the local Dan Murphy's for $28. A full carton of 24 of these Kilkenny's. And I'll tell you what, these things are like drinking, well, what's something, well, it's, it's like a morning coffee, isn't it? But it's, it's more like an afternoon uh, delight. <laughs> so I was gonna have one of these, and I've already had one, you know, self-medicating. And, well, I've just used that glass up and... So I'll just use this other glass, even though it's not the proper glass, but I'm not proper, let's face it. I'm far from it. But let me turn this other light on, hang on. Bit more light on the subject. Do you like this shirt? $2.50 from the op shop. Giddy up. Uh, anyway, let me just show you how beautiful this drink is. So, I don't know if you've seen the cans of Kilkenny, but they've got a, a wiggle or something, what do they call them, a twiggle, a twizzle, a, let me know down below. When you open it, it spins and creates the froth. It's pretty cool. Right, ready? Ah, oh, oh no, it didn't do it properly, now it's just sticking out the top. Ah, ah. Well, I better get rid of this head into the sink. Well, that was a complete fail. Um, anyway, keep the camera there. Might be... Nah. We'll see. Oh yeah, you can see. Here we go. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, I have been really enjoying this Kilkenny. It's got hardly any bubbles in it. It's just, it seriously is just like a, a morning coffee that you would have in the afternoon that helps with, uh, you know, stuff, old people's stuff. Just look at that settling there. You see the bubbles slowly work their way up to that delicious creamy head. Oh God, I do love some creamy head. Don't we all fellas? It's slowly dissipating, slowly going up there. Mm -hmm. That bright light's a bit bright, isn't it, in the back there? But it's slowly getting there. It's probably not the best glass to see it, but who cares? So I haven't been trying to impress anyone. But yep, beautiful. Add a bit more of a boost to it. Oh, be careful. Ah, it's even good straight from the tin. Shut down the rubbish. And let's have a go. The kill canny. It's got like no bubbles. It's kind of weird, kind of like American beer. It's got no bubbles, but it's it's just so. Mmm. It's got a really malty sort of flavour, 
but it's got a beautiful cross between the hops as well and with that colour I mean, you, you could literally just pretend you're drinking coffee that's what I do well I don't but uh, well, until later on after about six of them and you're like head spinning and then it's definitely not coffee unless it's a caffeine hit but uh, yes uh, what have I been up to not much just making a video every day for the uh, cooking channel uh, every day I've been making a video so I've got heaps of videos which is why I uploaded one uh, yesterday actually and it did really well <laughs> so yeah just trying to upload a video every day I mean I've got to I've got to make a living this is what I do full time and I'm going to America in uh, June until August so that'll be good gonna go and visit my mate in North Carolina and uh, go do a road trip out to St. Louis Herman actually in St. Louis to visit a, another friend of ours that um, I used to work with overseas and uh, he's got a farm so we probably do some I don't know beaver trapping last time I spent a month at his farm last oh 20 years ago and we did beaver trapping and uh, did deer hunting and mate it was um it was really cool I really had a good time I do love America and I haven't been there for uh, probably 12 years so unfortunately the Australian dollar's not doing very well but uh, well, at least I'm not paying for my accommodation I just got to pay for airfares and and a bit of spending money which will be mainly food uh, and I'm pretty sure a lot of this uh, but we'll do it on the cheap we'll do it on the cheap I like to do things on the cheap you know me by now um, what else that's about it mate. I've just been working uh, I had the uh, coronavirus uh, well I still got it a little bit but I got that probably 10 days ago and I'm still trying to get rid of it this doesn't help Neither does swimming in the surf and then going for a ride, uh, a 10 kilometer bike ride. But you've got you to gotta push it out of your system, I reckon, some of those things. If they're still lingering there, just get rid of them. Sort of like a, a bad tenant. <laughs> I know about those. Not, well, I know, not that I've had any, but I know other people that have. And <laughs> well, that's for another day. That's for another day. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to just finish this off and, um, yeah, if you like uh, just these stupid ramblings, let me know and I can probably do some more of them. Uh, otherwise, I just don't have time to upload to this channel, so, um, you probably want a live video, but what am I going to do, sit there and just read the rings off the top of the 4X cans? Well, I could. And every time I open a can, a bottle, I should say, I can uh, read one of those things off. That'd be good. Except I'd end up absolutely on the floor, which is probably what you would like the most. And probably be the uh, most entertaining as well. Uh, anyway, it's uh, six o'clock now, so I'm going to go and upload this. And I've already, I don't, actually, I haven't really got any dinner planned. I did cook a potato in the air fryer and I have got some sausages in the fridge. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I've got some sausages. Got some more kill cannies. And some, and some golds down there. But besides that, it's looking a bit empty, the old fridge. It's just stuff that I sort of need to get rid of. Oh, how's this? How's this for form? Uh, this person. Um, What's the name? Uh, Hales. Hales, right? I got this package in the mail. And this um, Hales sent me from Tasmania. She sent me some butter. <laughs> so she posted, I think Hales, I'm pretty sure it's a female. Haley. Well, I don't know, nowadays, who knows? But um, yeah, so some of this butter from Tassie posted to me. It's gone hard again, so uh, I'll be enjoying that at some stage. 
That's a pretty random thing though, isn't it, to send through the mail some butter. <laughs> yeah, well, better than nothing, I reckon. Uh, anyway, here you go, there's a Kilkenny. Good drop, this one. I'll tell you what, it's way too easy to drink. Way too easy. I wasn't going to even have one today, but... Well, this is my second, and I can tell it's going to be another messy night. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time I upload something. Hopefully sooner rather than later. If this video does alright, then I'll try doing a few more of just one-take vlogs. Yeah. So, if you do enjoy it, you better let me know, otherwise, you know... Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye.